Hi, Dr. So Parker from Plastic Eye Surgery Associates. We recently had a patient with horrible mechanical and chemical injury to her face when she incorrectly tried to jump start a car. Right now with the COVID pandemic and with the heat waves that we have, it is much more likely that your car battery will die. If you're not driving enough, the car battery may die. It's not clear, but probably something like 20 minutes a week is important for you to run your car for the car battery not to die. There are several reasons why it's important to know how to jumpstart a car correctly. The first is, of course, an explosion may occur, and that really can happen, not very frequently, but it can, and the injuries can be devastating. It's not just a mechanical explosion, but it's a chemical explosion as well and there can be flame. So it's very important to try to avoid that. The other reason is that if you jump start your car incorrectly, you may damage the electronics of the car. So jump starting is really pretty simple. You just have to remember how to do it correctly. You have a dead battery and you have a live battery. And the mnemonic to remember is dead red first, then beeline to Frankenstein. Let me explain what that means. You start with the positive pole or the red uh, knob on the dead battery and you connect it to the positive pole on the good battery. Then you take the negative from the good back battery and you attach it to the engine block or a bolt on the chassis of the car and that's the Frankenstein and then that completes the circuit. You don't connect it back up to the negative pole on the dead battery because neither your cables nor the batteries are really designed to take that kind of a current flow. So you have to go through the engine block or the chassis of the uh, dead car. That's how you connect it up. Dead red first, then beeline to Frankenstein. And when you disconnect the cables, you go in the opposite direction. You take it off first from the engine block, then the negative pole on the good battery, then disconnect the positive pole on the good battery, and finally the positive pole on the dead battery. If you remember that, you'll keep yourself safe and your car running well. Thank you.